If you followed my last tutorial, you might have ended up with this kind of solution um, where we have a blue, a green, and a red function. Um, and for uh, each step of the way, we just call one of those functions. Green, four blues, then a green, then a blue, then a green, then a red to stop. And if we just run this simple scenario uh, for, for the maze, then we can see, you know, we'll do green first, then blue and left four times. One, two, <coughs> three, four. Then we'll need a green, right, sorry, green, blue, and green. Green, another blue, another green. And for the last function, we need to wait for red and stop. And that's it. And that's a uh, one simple way to solve the dr the disk maze. It's uh, simple, and it's I would also call it hard coding, uh, where we assume we know the exact path, uh, how many greens, how many blues, in which order uh, that we need to take. And instead of doing this, uh, maybe we do repeat until uh, we see red. So uh, I know when we see red, finally. Um, we're going to need to stop. So let's do that condition first. When we see red, stop. Okay, and uh, any other time we will be driving forward. But of course we know that um, uh, besides driving forward, we have to wait to see, you know, at some point we might hit blue or green. So we can have a repeat until one or the other happens, or we can just inside of here uh, ask the question, uh, do we see uh, a blue? Is there uh, something blue or green in front of us? And if I click on um, sensing, sorry, if we duplicate this, we can check if we're seeing something green. And when we do, we know we need to turn to the right. And similarly, we can duplicate this and say, well, if we didn't see a, a green, maybe we had seen a blue, and if we saw blue, we need to turn to the left for 90 degrees. And that's pretty much the entire algorithm. Now we can say, uh, until, until we detect red, just drive forward. And at any time you see green, turn 90 degrees, and at any time you see blue, turn 90 degrees to the other side. Um, and uh, we can test this. So we're driving forward until we see green. Then we turn 90 degrees, but then we immediately drive forward because we no longer see the blue or the green that we were on. And we'll continue to do this. <coughs> and stop. So that's, uh, that's the other approach to doing this in a more uh, sophisticated way where you don't have to um, know exactly how many greens and how many blues and in which order they come in. All we know is that whenever we see a green, we turn to the right. Whenever we see a blue, we turn to the left. Um, if we see red, we stop. And all other times, we just drive forward. And I hope you enjoyed um, following along with me. You can try to replicate this algorithm yourselves. There's other ways to do it. You can do this with a forever loop. You can do this with a while loop. You can do this um, where the red is, is, is uh, inside an if statement, just like these uh, green and blue statements. Um, there's many, many other approaches to doing this. But the idea is um, at all times, drive forward. If you see red, stop. If you see green, right. If you see blue, left. And uh, Try it yourselves, even if you're just um, redoing the, the exact same um, algorithm. It would be good uh, for you to do this. And, and until next time, enjoy your week, and I'll see you back at R Robotics with Vexcode VR, brought to you by Aposteriori.